When we speak of fats and oils, we tend to think of heart disease, isn't it? And it's been ingrained in us. You say heart disease and the first word association comes to mind, fats. It's just, it's just an association. Now, on the cancer side, the association is when people think of certain oils, they think that somehow cooking the foods in these oils will create byproducts, will create, I don't want to use the word toxins, but create a change in the quality of the food that somehow that change causes cancers. So let's address some of those fears by looking at the reality. It's undeniable, without going into too much of the history of it, you know, we tracked a time where 30 years ago, 40 years ago, there was a movement within the cardiovascular heart health that put its finger on fats are the cause of cardiovascular disease. Then more recently, we're trying to say that food derivatives and the way foods are cooked, which is important, can be a leading cause of cancers. Let's look at that when it comes to the palm, palm oil and the palm oil industry and the benefits, pros and cons. I think Dr. Uh, Sundram addressed this brilliantly when he said, when we look at oils, we need to understand if they're in three categories. Are they beneficial? Are they neutral? Meaning no harm, no or good per se, or are they harmful? And when we look at most oils and fats, most, not all, but most oils and fats, we do find that they're neutral. They're neutral in that in and of themselves, there's no harm associated with it. In fact, they're many times good associated with it. But how we use those oils, the quantity, anything in overconsumption can be unhealthy.